I've already installed Drupal and a WYSIWYG editor. It looks like a word processor. Now I'm going to show you how to make a basic web page to add to your website. First, I click the content link and choose Add Content. Next, I click a basic page content type. Now, I add my page title and content. I've written this content earlier, and so I can just copy and paste it into Drupal. Paste the title in the title box and then I click the paste from word button. This lets me paste ready formatted text directly into Drupal. The headline and paragraph formatting will remain the same after I paste it into Drupal. So click this one, control V, then click OK. After adding the text we want we want to add a photo using a photo upload button. So I click it this button. Now I need to browse my computer and find the upload image. I'll resize this. <laughs> Doesn't fit in the page. now we can see what we're doing. I need to look for the image, click this upload button, click browse and look for the image I want. This one, click upload. Now I can close this box. The image I've uploaded is too big, so now I want to resize it to 400 pixels wide. I only need to put 400 in the width box. When I click the second box, it will automatically set the height, so the image will keep its aspect ratio and not distort. So, click the resize button, 400, just click the other box, click resize, the image is resized. Close this. Right, let's insert the file into the page. Click OK. Oh, we put it at the bottom of the page instead of the top. Never mind. The content is now added to my page, but I have to go. I have two other small jobs to do. What I'll do first, I'll just put that back at the top because we had a slight unplanned thing there. It's 400 wide. So on. There we go. Now it's at the top of the page. Just stops you getting confused. <laughs> like me. <laughs> right. When I click the menu settings tab and click and tick provide a menu link box. Drupal automatically uses my page title for the title link text. Right, so this one, menu settings, provide a link, it's already pasted in for me. Drupal did that for me. All I have to do now is set the URL path settings. I don't have to do this, but Google likes it. So, I'll set this to radios. URL path settings, and the URL alias, we're going to call it radios. This helps Google. Google can understand your page better. All we have to do now is click the save button. There we go. Right, 
Right, what we'll do now, we'll log out and you can see what the page looks like to your visitors. Go on the home page, click the radio button and there's the radio page.